It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1634, recorded Wednesday, August 2nd, 2017. Lashing out. On this episode of the Gizwiz, the holiday season has come a little bit early with Dick's Gadgets. I have a brand new theme, and while it may be used, it is still very fresh. And your letter all coming up next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of US. Oh, sorry. I, I ended that a little early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Precision. <laughs> Maybe we should do that one more time. Let's <laughs> just listen to the intro. <laughs> okay. Know, this is for the live stream. We'll edit it correctly in a bit. It's okay. the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the CEO of Gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing fantastic. We are recording a little bit early because I'm heading out to Charlotte, North Carolina tomorrow. And is it a fun thing you're going yeah. to? Yeah, definitely. There is a uh, new convention in town when it comes to Minecraft conventions called Mine Fair. And uh, it's, so it's a Minecraft convention. And I'm... I love it. You, there's a, always been this convention called MineCon that the creators of Minecraft have put on, but it's always been really expensive and, uh, I mean, not a lot of people can go and it's just this big deal. And so there's a new convention in town called MineFair and they're doing lots of smaller conventions all over. So there was one oh, in great. Houston, there's one in Charlotte, North Carolina, there's going to be one in Washington, D.C., there's going to be one in Philadelphia. Um, I mean, already this year they have, they have like four planned. One's already happened, one's about to happen, and then D.C. and Philadelphia. Um, but it's just a really awesome thing for the Minecraft community because... Before there was and you really and you must be one. a big star at these things. Right? Yeah, I kind of uh, am. We, it's it's fun to turn on the celebrity, you know, and then be able to turn it <laughs> off when you go home. Uh, right. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a, a yeah, it's a trip every single time. I mean, it's incredible. So yeah, so I'll be going to Mind Fair in Charlotte, North Carolina. It'll be a lot of fun. If you happen to be in the area, Perfect. look it up. Okay, excellent, excellent. Anything happen to you over the over the weekend? Uh, let's see. Oh, I I did a, a chore. You know, I bought this wildly expensive outboard engine, and both the guy who installed it and the uh, tri-state area service rep said, if there is one thing you must do to make that engine run lo many many years, is between ten and twenty hours. You must haul it out of the water and change what is called the lower unit oil. Um, and it was hard getting uh, a place that could haul it out early in the season because so many people were having their boats put in. But anyway, this past week, I got the boat hauled and I have a friend who knows how to do that kind of thing. And we changed the oil. And, you know, engines, uh, well, you have a car, uh, uh, they're they're very tricky and, things and and a, a lawnmower <laughs> and a lawnmower. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no. Well, on this outboard, which cost twenty thousand dollars, yes. When you change the oil, the maybe all engines have this. Uh, the lower screw cap where the oil will come out uh, has a magnet built into the screw, so you can see if any little bits of metal. Uh, have come off from various parts of the engine. So the thing is, when the first time you unscrew it, they say you will see metal parts on this screw because that's why we asked you to run the engine for 10 to 20 hours to get those little, the engine reseated so all the parts work with each other. But the second time you change it, which doesn't have to be for 100 hours, 
hopefully you will not see any little bits <laughs> of metal. I kind of feel like, you know, you, you kind of put it all together. It's like, as it runs, it'll smooth itself out. Yes, you know? yes. It'll just yes. work out the kinks. And then work there'll be the little kinks. metal filings in there. I, I, I know. I, I had a friend who used to work at uh, Evinrood, and he said, people are not supposed to run their engines wide open for the first five hours. And he said, they, we know they do, and, and it's probably too expensive to do now. They silver plated an infinite thinness of silver plate on the key parts that rubbed against each other. And it, it would wear away within five hours, but for those five hours, they protected your engine, which was uh, a way to protect uh, an investment. So That's very good. Anyway, yeah, interesting. Yeah. I, and I have one other thing. I, I, Chad, Twitter worked for me on something. Oh, uh, my air conditioner will not shut off. Uh, you put it on <laughs> fan, the compressor still runs. You shut it off. The compressor still runs. That, 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 normally, people don't have that issue. If this darn AC would just stop cooling, Ye yes, uh, exactly. That yes, would yes. be great. Yes. So, and so does that mean that like your apartment is just like really cold all the time? It's like oh a yes, I, I was I, I was waking up in the middle of the night going, why am I freezing? And then I realized that that the thing's not shutting off, and I'm going, oh, I wonder when I bought this. So I've took me days to find the receipt. Turned out the, that the warranty had just ended, the <laughs> five-year warranty. And so I tweeted, of course. can you believe it? I bought an air conditioner at PC Richard, and three weeks after the warranty, the compressor won't go off. And three hours later, I got a reply from PC Richard, uh, send us uh, the, the number of your receipt. And then I got an email tonight, call service. I called service. And they said, they extended your warranty through tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my so gosh. They said, uh, someone will call Get you in the in morning. Here. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, so. That is Thank nice. you, PC Richard. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Twitter. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is that a local? Uh, I've never heard of PC Richard. Uh, P PC Richard is probably in the tri-state area. Yeah. Yeah, but I Very bought a cool. lot of stuff there, so it, it, I'm glad that they, That's you awesome. know, did something for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. Okay. Well, now you don't have to be a popsicle when uh, you know walking around your apartment. That's great. No, exactly. exactly. With that, uh, you know, popsicle season is is ending, and the holiday season is coming up pretty quickly. Nice segue. Yes, <laughs> uh, in July and August. For the press, many holiday gift events based mainly on when magazines, are there still magazines? Yeah, um, sure. I magazines, mean, Mad Magazine, right? Yes, there's Mad Magazine. <laughs> um, so they must, the, 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 they call them the slick magazines, slick paper magazines. They need to know what the uh, manufacturers think are going to be popular uh, by the end of August in order to get these into their October, November issues. So they have all these events. And uh, I went to one called the New Products Events Holiday Gift Guide. And I found, I found some great stuff. I found some funny stuff. And one of my favorite things of all these shows uh, is in this show. So let's take a look at the first Holiday Gift Guide idea. Hey, Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz, <laughs> One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. At the holiday gift event, it's for the media, and I've been at the buffet for three hours. <laughs> Who knew they were showing gifts, too? Okay, so that's the little piggy. He says none of that. And we're at Hemika Schlemmer. We love them. They have weird stuff and fun stuff. And Trish is going to tell us about what this guy is really here of for. Of course. He is reciting the full Three Little Pigs story. And he also comes along with all of your finger puppets. So you can do um, play along with the whole story, our new plush for holiday. Okay, great. And how much is he? He is $39.95. Oh, that's, that's a, a very decent price. Very fun. And this guy over here, okay, 
This is awesome. This is a new product that we've made for the holiday season this year. This allows you to uh, make your photos into JPEGs. You do not have to remove your photos from the album. We have anti-glare technology in here. All you have to do is place the unit over your photo, align it properly. <laughs> it will save the JPEG right onto your SD card. Oh, great. Okay. Yes. This is good for people who don't have the time or the inclination to take every photo out and yeah. scan it. And just convenience because it's so, you know, it takes so much time to actually take them in and out of the albums. You leave them all right in there. No, I, I have tons of slides. Is there Perfect. anything? This also allows you to use the trays to do slides and negatives. So you can also just insert those. You can also do one other thing. If you have photos outside the albums, you can use the tray at the bottom to scan the photos as now, well. If you scan a negative, does it make a positive picture? Negative and positive, of course. Oh, okay. Okay. I just thought it made a copy of the negative. And what does this retail for? This is one ninety nine ninety five. Is this out now? It is. Great holiday gift. Okay. And then the, the little stove, the barbecue burner? <laughs> the barbecue burner is actually a drone. What's fun about it, it has some additional technology that makes you be able to take the perfect selfies. So in the backyard at a family barbecue, you can all be goofy and take a bunch of selfie pictures of your family. So th does it go up and see where people are or someone has to be controlling you control, it? You control it with an app on your phone. It's all controlled by right in your hands in your phone. Okay. The perfect selfie. I hope it has a plastic surgery button. Make me look younger. Oh, <laughs> How much? This one is uh, two ninety nine ninety five. Okay, very good. Uh, I, wait, wait. Did I, I just said? I wish it had an app to make me look better. And she said, agreed. <laughs> I think this is this is the last time we're coming by. <laughs> I'm at the Schlemmer booth, and I think I've had a little too much to drink. What are these guys? The tipsy wine glasses. Very fun. Uh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Medis, writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's cranberry juice. Whoa. It's cranberry juice. <laughs> yeah. It's no cow. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. Wow. Okay, so three great products. Um, I feel like uh, each of them almost has like a laziness factor built in. Like if you don't oh, want to read that, to your kids, oh, give them the pig. Funny. If you don't want to <laughs> take your photos out of the photo thing, you'd use this. You don't want to hold a selfie stick, use the drone. It's great. Um, oh I'm, my gosh, we have, you have a co-host. I do, I have my co-host here. Waffles has decided to grace us. Uh, since moving oh um, studios, uh, the cat can actually come in now. Uh, before oh, okay. the uh, the box, she, I have the OMG craft set in uh, in here, and uh, there were specific boxes that they liked to use as uh, uh, claw sharpening devices. So uh, now that we've moved rooms, it's easier for the cats to get in and out. So sometimes they come by and say hi. Um, oh. I actually really like the photo scanner um, because also I have known people who take their photos and paste them into memory books, and then there's no getting them out. There, you don't have oh, the that's option oh, to pull oh, them out. Oh, that's, that's perfect. It's some type of scrapbook, you know, it's stuck in there. There's, there's no removing it. So I like the scanner that you can basically just plop right onto the book. And, you know, uh, and am, am I dense? I asked to this, but I still don't understand it. If you put in a strip of negatives from your camera, yeah, how can it print a picture? It can't, can it? I, unless if it can, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I would assume that it could, you, it could flip, it could invert the image so that it would not be a negative anymore. I think that that's possible to do. But it seems like it wouldn't be able to detect that. You know, you'd have to do it in a menu and say, this is going to be a negative, make it into a positive. Yeah. I don't, it doesn't well, seem impossible, but it does seem like a big extra step. Oh, well, Bleak know. says mainstream scanners can scan negs. But Bleak, scan negs and, and turn them into positive, positive pictures? You're right. It, it, it's, okay. Flip the, I mean, because you can, like in Photoshop, I can invert a photo and, it, and it, it inverts every color to be a negative of what it is. Oh. And so it looks like a negative. So it is definitely possible um, okay. just to do it okay. with computer software. Um, okay. 
so yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are some three great products. That's um, so funny. Yeah, and the and the glasses you couldn't see because we were holding them, but they're they're tipsy glasses. They're actually hand blown and and slightly bent in all different directions. Oh. <laughs> uh, so uh, I guess sitting on a bar, they would be funny. That is awesome. Um, that is pretty yeah. good. Awesome. Okay. Um, I guess. Uh, okay. Let's going go on. going on with Twistmas. I'm not lisping or anything, but something called Twistmas lights. So let's take a peek. Hey, Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Mattis, Ryder, and the Gizwiz. One take fit here at gizwiz.tv. We're at Twistmas lights. That's it, Twitmas lights. And they have a Christmas tree with everybody's picture, but they do not have my picture on this tree. But guess what? We can get that done really quickly. So the idea is to have someone else explain it. Uh, okay, uh, so it's Ron. Yeah, so what happens is you, uh, we have a web app that allows you to take your photos, pull them in, and it will size them. And then what that's gonna do is allow you to print them. Here we now, go. Now, if you don't take someone's photo, uh, you got that off my website. I did, I just took it right off your website, so it's easy to get, easy to use. If you've ever uh, changed your profile photo in a social media, you can do the exact same thing with our template. So it's going to be super easy to do. Okay, so now we printed it. Now the paper's included in the kit. Paper's included, test paper even, so you have plenty of chances to get it right. And this just peels, just like a sticker. All this is in your kit, and then this goes right on top of this disc. And that's going to turn that sticker into a solid piece, which snaps into our base. And then we're going to take our uh, snowflake here, and we're going to Stick it in and twist it, which is why we call it a Twistmas light. And then we're going to be ready for illumination. All right, there you are. Oh, that, that is really neat. Now, wait a minute. I thought every snowflake was different. These <laughs> snowflakes seem a little bit alike. I don't know. If you look at that picture, that's a pretty different snowflake. <laughs> uh, all right, so, and what do they retail for? So a six-pack retails for $24.99. All right, so you need for to do to make six. Okay. And the lights are your own. The lights are your own on your own Christmas tree. Okay. So you and, place it on your tree where you want it. Okay. And can it go on any kind of light? It or? pretty much will go over any standard mini light. Any standard mini yep. light. It's designed. It has hooks on the back so that it will hold up to the wire so that it doesn't drop forward, stays in place. Okay, and uh, earlier I saw, what, what's in the little box? So the little box is just a single, we call it our grab and go. And so what that's gonna be is for your stocking stuffer, your hostess gift, your teacher gift. Um, yep, so yeah, we're 100% American made and uh, we just think we're the perfect gift because you can make your, your Christmas tree whatever you want it to be. Okay, 10 to $25, are they out now or? Yes, yeah, so you can, uh, we're online at twistmas.com. And we're about 125 small retail stores. So you can, if you're looking out there, or if you have a favorite store, you can always have them contact us because we want to be out there. Great. Uh, that is super. Uh, so this is Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Madis Ryder, and the Gizwiz, One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. I'm a star. <laughs> You're a flake. Uh, I'm no, a wait, flake. Wait a second. That's, uh, wait, that's more like it. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, my uh, the tw the the uh, Gizwiz chat seems like kind of like oh okay. My Twitch chat loves this. Um, everyone is saying these are adorable. These are so cute. I'm gonna get these for my coworkers as Christmas gifts. Um, people really like these, and I I was trying to come up with this joke, so I'm just gonna explain it. Is it'd be fun if the in-laws, you know, the new in-laws, maybe you just married, you don't have any memories of, you know, up on your tree. Right, Quickly right. take a few photos, and then after a few minutes, they walk in to see the, the oh, tree, would, and then bam, they're there, you know, that would be... That's a great idea. That would be pretty cool. That That'd is, be neat. That is a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like them. Well, I like them a lot. I, I think they're great. I think families uh, would, would love this idea, and as you said, you could... Uh, put all get everybody in the family on an ornament before people get to the house, totally. and they would be really happy to go in there and say, "Yeah, oh, we're on we're on the tree." Yeah, exactly. And and, and uh, twenty five dollars doesn't seem bad. You get nah. six of those uh, ornaments. 
Yeah, and I don't practice think, paper. I, yeah, I think that uh, for for that price is very reasonable for a Christmas ornament. Um, yeah, really, really. And reasonable. and the back of it has uh, little channels that you he was explaining that you put the bulb in and then you twist the green wire into the channel so that the bulb stays in the center. Oh, cool. So you you get uh, overall illumination. I think it's very well worked out. I agree. That's yeah. perfect. The Twistmas lights, because you twist on the snowflake. Um, you could also, you know, I could see them coming out with other rings, you know, maybe a, just a solid red oh, ring yeah. or a solid, yeah. you know, white ring or something like that. That'd be kind of neat as well. Great idea. Yeah. Twistmas lights. Lights. Okay. And this last one is, is uh, my favorite thing I saw at the show. Uh, and you'll see why. Oh, you know what? This is not right. <laughs> Look at this big guy <laughs> making that little elf carry him. It is ridiculous. Mark, why are you being so... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. That is very clever. So, so Mark, what is this guy and how... Can we see you from the back? Oh, okay. <laughs> it still works. I like that it a lot. It still works. So this guy is called... It's a piggyback ride-on costume. It's a cup holder. The ride-on holds it for you. And it's uh, sold at UglyChristmasSweater.com. And what does it, it sell for? $64.95. $64.95. Is it out now or out in time for the holidays? It is out now. And we have a few more styles. We actually have uh, um, a bear. Uh, we have a Santa Claus. And we have a reindeer. That is really clever. And the company is UglyChristmasSweater.com. And here are some samples. Uh, actually, that one's not so bad. This one's not so bad. That's really bad. Uh, these are very clever. I like this. A very fun thing. UglyChristmasSweater.com. And uh, if you have a friend that you would like not to be your friend, here's an ideal gift. <laughs> Dickie Bartolo, Mads Mattis, Trider, and the Gizwiz. One take fitter here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. That is hilarious. I Isn't that wish funny? that I had thought of the company, UglyChristmasSweater.com, because that is just a winner. Uh, of a company right there. Let's, let's and uh, and I love the fact that they that it works front and back. Yeah, I that when, when he's walking away, it still looks like <laughs> exactly it's a, a little guy carrying a big person exactly. uh, piggyback ride. And no one can complain if your products are ugly because that's the point. I mean, <laughs> yes, exactly. You can't say, exactly. you know, that's not very stylish. We know. <laughs> We, yes, I know, I know. Do well, you know how out. hard it is to find a designer that designs bad? I'm telling yes. you. There's, we, there's I got only a thrown few. Out of their, I got thrown out of their office. They said, this is good. Why this is too good. To what the? We can't sell this. This looks fantastic. What are we going to do with thinking? this great sweater? What on earth? This is just lost money right here. Closeout. Throw in the throw in the closeout. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. everyone, we're having a closeout sale of good-looking sweaters. We there can't sell these things. <laughs> That's uh, hilarious. Um, uh, I, I this sounds, seems like something that my grandpa would buy. Um, I have a, grandpa Jerry is definitely. I should probably buy it for him. In fact, it, he'd be quite surprised. Um, uh, very, yeah. very clever and funny. Um, you know, you'd also just wear it pretty, um, you know, it, it wouldn't be that difficult just to wear that to a Christmas dress up party. Everyone no, else not has crazy all. things, you know, and you're just basically wearing a pair of pants. Yeah, they'll say, around. hey, you need two invites. You're not carrying that guy in here. <laughs> oh, whoa. on one invite. Yes, exactly. Uh, very, very clever. Ugly Christmas sweater dot com. Dot com. Uh, very awesome. Okay. Okay. I, uh, I have three more for next week, but in the meantime, it's it is time. August, which means there's a brand new Chad's. Sometimes the monocaster no, likes it. There it goes. It, but <laughs> you might want it at Chad's. Crappy Corner. Get it.
Okay, so on this month's theme, we gotta decide what the theme is actually gonna be, so we put it to our patrons, and they voted to decide. The options were between uh, grocery store gadgets, so uh, this is another go to a store and find a gadget, a physical store, at uh, grocery stores, uh, at sporting goods stores, or at thrift stores, so used stores. Oh. And the winner is, dun da da dun da da <laughs> thrift stores with 47% of the vote. So now I had oh. to go to thrift stores to find gadgets that we could show on the Gizwiz. And I was worried, I'll tell you. I was really worried, Dick, that this might have been a bad decision on my part to put it onto the uh, the poll because I was worried we weren't going to find anything. I found so many gadgets. I have almost, I went to a single thrift store and I found some of the funniest gadgets I think I have oh, ever funny. found. And now they're all going to be a little bit older, obviously, so it's oh, almost yeah. yes, like a yes, yes. Trad's Crappy Corner and a warehouse uh, together. But uh, already I bought three. So there's one for this week and you know two for the future weeks. A lot of times when I went to the home improvement store, I'd, have, I'd search forever and then find one thing and have to buy it and know that next week I'd go again. So this uh, week's gadget is BAM right here. It is called the Wacky Wake Up Alarm Clock. So just go ahead and just uh, check this bad boy out. You, first thing that you can see <laughs> is that the LEDs are really, really cleverly made so that they bend. So like that six has a curve, the five has a curve. I mean, this looks straight out of the 90s. I don't think there's, there's any way that this would be <laughs> modern design alarm clock. Um, uh, along the back, uh, looks you know kind of similar. Uh, and then you have a big snooze button an alarm on off button, a reset and alarm button, a time, hour, and minute. And then on the side, you have what you want to wake up to. So when your alarm goes off, what sound does you want it to be? It could be either a mechanical bell or crazy speech sound effects. And that is what <laughs> we're definitely gonna test out. Uh, you also have a dimmer for the LED, so if you want to turn it to be darker, because you don't like how bright the LED is, which is actually a really nice feature, because sometimes LEDs can just be super duper bright. So right now it is 6.57, so let's uh, get this timer up. It's actually very simple to set the timer. All you have to do is hold down the alarm button and then move it to where you want it to be. So there we go, in less than a minute, we'll get to hear um, the fantastic sounds out of the uh, wacky wake up alarm clock. Oh my goodness. And then it will make that sound over and over and over again until. Hey, hey, Chad, is it is it the same voice <laughs> no, every time? No, it is not. So here, let me set the alarm. Uh, it'll go off again in in less than sixty seconds. It is a different voice. Now there's, I think, only about three or four voices in there, but it okay. is different. So um, I've heard a mobster. I've heard um, just like a cranky lady. Um, it's, it, it's all sorts of different, uh, different sounds. Now, of course, this is an older product. I bought this for $3.99, a good buy, I do say so myself. Yes. It also comes with a, a battery compartment so that you can put in a nine volt battery and- Hello, sleepyhead, rise and shine. Good morning, up, 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 good morning. That would annoy me awake, definitely. Yes, it w yeah. Um, and uh, and we'll see if we can. Oh gosh, I gotta do the. It needs to be seven o'clock because uh, we're coming up on time here. Um, so very very annoying sounds, obviously, from the wacky wake up alarm clock. Uh, you can find uh, videos on YouTube of other people going through all the sounds. We're about ready to hit. Uh, I think basically all of them. Um, it is not really available anywhere to purchase. Except it is a, it is on Amazon, but you have to kind of go through the uh, the marketplace to get it, so it's quite expensive. Like there isn't just a buy button 
you can get new and used oh, ones for 60 it. bucks. Oh, 39. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, 39. God. Yeah, sorry, I didn't read that right. Um, but the customer reviews, people love this thing. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, look at that. Why do you treat me with no respect? You can get out of that bed, or I can come in and get you out of that bed. <laughs> Capiche? <laughs> now, where's my cannoli? Uh, and then it'll it'll make that sound over and over. So I think that it only has th those are the only three voices that I've ever heard. Um, but well, yeah, you so mentioned an old lady. I don't think did we hear the old lady? Uh, was that the? One? I think that was the one right before it. Um, oh, that was that was a lady, a cranky okay. lady. Yeah. Um, oh, seven random wake up phrases. I have not oh. heard them all. There's seven inside of here. Uh, it has AM, PM, and then it said that it has a radio. On the Amazon description, there's no radio inside of this. This is not a radio clock. Uh, it is just an alarm clock. Uh, there's just no way to set the radio. So anyway, um, I, I got to say that I like it. It has an easy alarm on-off switch at the, type, uh, at the top. Like I always say, if the alarm don't quit, up you must get. My clients cannot be expected to wake up in these circumstances. They are deplorable, undependable, inexcusable, unreliable, <laughs> and unquintessential. Is that like a, a lawyer? What? <laughs> Who? Anyway, um, just the design overall, big old snooze button, easy on off switch. It's pretty easy to set the alarm in time. So all around, I gotta say that the wacky wake up alarm clock radio is pretty good. And if it doesn't uh, make you wanna throw it out, uh, the annoying wake up sounds will definitely wake you up every morning. Uh, and I also really like the LED dimmer feature so that if- Yeah, uh, no, it's very it's cute. It's very cute. So that is the start of thrift store month. I think that this is going to be a fantastic theme. In fact, I'm already thinking we need to have a, a revenge of the thrift store month and bring it back <laughs> in a few months because uh, it was very, very fun to go uh, look through. I went to Goodwill to find this, to look through the shelves at Goodwill and find uh, perfect Gizwiz gadgets. Uh, so that is about it for the crappy gadget. Moving on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Foghorn. You know, you realize that one day you're going to open your local penny saver newspaper, and there's going to be a thing in there that's going to say, Big Minecraft star reduced to shopping in thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen him there. Many times, and I'll be I'll be through. sitting there looking at this clock, going, hmm, hmm, hmm. that will be the photo, definitely. <laughs> yes, exactly. Absolutely. Contemplating, <laughs> it, do I have so four dollars? <laughs> exactly. Or can I ask mom? I have exactly. two. Exactly. Exactly. One of mom's good for the other two. I think I bought a month's worth of gadgets for like under twenty dollars. <laughs> I mean, it's like absolutely amazing. And it's also funny. I brought one gadget up. And we couldn't find the price. And he was like, you know, we're all kind of looking for the sticker on it. And he goes, no, that's $4. And he just <laughs> oh, I like it. That's it's like, okay, okay, there we go. And then that's pretty good. easy. That's good. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, uh, and Dick's Gadget Warehouse is where we put our viewer video, no matter what the subject is. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had the little egg peeler, the hard boiled egg peeler was a little plastic thing. And I think you and I were talking and I think one of us said, couldn't, or maybe the chat room said, can't you just do this with a Mason jar? Right. And I said, well, someone should do that and send us a video. Someone did. Okay. Uh, hi Dick and Chad. Here's a link to the video I made trying to shell hard boiled eggs per your request. Uh, Steve Overton uh, will show us what happens when you do this with a plain old mason jar. Oh, I like his t-shirt. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Hi, Dick. <laughs> it Hi, matches his How are you, face? Doing? you asked uh, for a video on another way to shell hard-boiled eggs rather than in that plastic gadget 
for 20 bucks. So I've got a couple of different glass jars here and I'm going to give it a whirl. I've got water and eggs in. So let's give it a whirl and see what happens. <clears throat> It makes a fantastic sound. Well, that it does. Destroyed the whole egg. <laughs> <laughs> and Maybe it was too tall and too much motion. Yeah, the the other edge is pretty small. Yes, that might that well, might be. Not sure what to say here. Did this that one get pretty much? You can see. Oh, it's egg salad. Oh, gosh, yeah. But that one is, looks like it stayed. Well, maybe. Did an okay job. But you still got to peel. So, I don't know if this is helpful or not. But, <clears throat> I don't see that it's working all that great. Let's give it another whirl. I'm wondering, uh, uh, you know, didn't we see, didn't someone send uh, a, a link during the show that someone did it with Tupperware and it worked okay? Yeah, that's what we saw. Uh, uh, what, that I, what was I the, think uh, it, like a, like a try it uh, Facebook video. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah, it looks like the, the, the bottle to volume to water ratio yes. needs to be perfect. So yes. as you could see, that didn't seem to work out all that well. I have a suspicion that it had to do more with the way the eggs were cooked than with the way of trying to get the shells off. Uh, I did not cook those eggs. Someone else did. So I'm not sure how they were cooked, but there is a, a, a formula that I've always been successful with, and that's putting your eggs in cold water, bringing them to a boil. As soon as they boil, turn it off and let it sit for 20 minutes, and then the eggs uh, shell very, very easily. So I'm not sure what to tell you, but I thought it was fun to watch an egg disintegrate in the <laughs> jar. Thanks for all you guys do. Thanks so much for sending that over. That is yeah, uh, great. Yes, Steve. So the chat room has several suggestions. Uh, um, just roll them in the palm of your hands. Works well, oh. says Ranger Rick. Uh, my tallest 42 said there's not enough water. Uh, I, my, my own feeling is that the tall mason jar, there was too much travel and the egg got mm -hmm. smashed around. It seemed to do better in the little one. Right. But I, I have an idea. a ton of momentum. Right. Yeah. And I have an idea that if, if it had, was something with a soft cover... Um, it would probably not get shattered. Anyway, I smashed mine up, but a few worked. Um, I oh. put eggs in my... <laughs> Spike said, I just put hard-boiled eggs in my pockets, and after a few days, they're peeled. Perfect. So there's another. There's a perfect way. It's a perfect way. Hey, honey, you want to have a uh, egg salad on Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Right, well, on Monday, I'll make put me the a couple eggs in my eggs. pocket. Right. Put, yeah. This is perfect. Uh, <laughs> perfect solution. You know, this—that's the best way to avoid spending twenty dollars on an egg peeling device. Yeah. There you go. Definitely. There you go. <laughs> um, okay. So, Steve, you will get a—you'll actually get the October Mad Magazine, which is just coming out, and one of those uh, thirty-five-year-old Alfred E. Newman pictures. I'm assuming you live in the U.S. or Canada. Um, so I think we're officially out of videos from new people. And by new people, we mean people who haven't submitted before. So we could use a video for next week. Uh, make a, vi a video two to three minutes. It can be on anything at all that has a gadget theme. Uh, a test like uh, Steve did, a gadget you love that you just bought. Uh, the thing we love best is when you have a gadget that you bought 10 or 20 years ago and for some reason you can't throw it out because you were fond of it or for whatever reason uh, make a video uh, horizontal uh, with your cell phone make sure we can hear you and see you and a little note uh, with 
how you got it or and if you remember what it cost and uh, upload it to YouTube click unlisted then only people with the URL can see it and send us that URL mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv and we can use one for next week there perfect with that let's move on to the letter wow now <sighs> okay oh, oh ranger rick is in the chat room and ranger rick uh, sent us the letter of the week uh, the subject is LED eyelashes. Oh my! I saw Just this. Just what I was waiting for. Yeah, I saw this on this week in Google with Leo. The project is a Kickstarter that will blow your mind, and it looks a little creepy. But <laughs> thought you would yeah. get a kick out of it. Just go down a little because there's a video of this. Oh my gosh, this does look very creepy. Does this? <laughs> what? Now, uh, they I look like, like zombies. They do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, and for the audio listeners, there's you know, these LEDs, we don't need that audio. Uh, there's these LEDs above people's heads, but they're doing like, you know, they're, they're all kind of tilting their heads in really weird ways. And then the LEDs are kind of going from side to side, almost like a, a uh, Oh, so this part I, I didn't see. So you wear- Cylon, yeah. So you wear- You wear the control panel with the batteries in on the, the back, back of, of your head, and then there's head. a small wire that goes around the side of your head. Golly, that's crazy. So you can flash. And, and yeah, I I love all things LED, but I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're the LED uh, fan club over here. If, yeah. If we you think know what? that it's, oh man. They were looking for forty thousand dollars. Is it over yet? But they already Let's have a hundred. They almost have one hundred and fourteen thousand. Uh, uh, they pledged. Uh, yeah, they got it. Um, one hundred and thirteen thousand dollars was pledged, so they got it. And they are how much? Thirty dollars is the is the cheapest you can get them for, yeah, right? Yeah, thirty thirty bucks is a user for early bird, uh, and then forty dollars is a star plat pack so yeah right early bird is gone so the uh, least you can get in for is forty dollars they're coming out january of 2018 and you get to pick the color led you want but uh it's just that it, it just look something is wrong it's like it's something looks robotic and weird and synthetic about it it is just it's just makes me weird it out i don't know what it is um, yeah it, it, it's too weird it, yeah it, it's sort it's sort of like it's sort of like you worry that why are you putting something like that so close to your why, eyes why is it that other makeup is totally fine but this is like immediate creep factor like yes it, yeah it's right. on right. i don't know that's so weird um yeah i i gotta say it's just Whoa, uh, right off the bat. Um, yeah. uh, anyway, so yeah. You, you will can... not see Chad nor I, I at our meetup wearing no. LED No. So uh, to find this, you would search F dot lashes. So flashes, but with a period in between the F and the L. Fun interactive LED lashes is their tagline. So uh, check out F lashes. <laughs> um, on Kickstarter, and maybe they'll they'll make you know make it a product that you could just buy without backing it on Kickstarter. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's oh interesting. Oh my God, Becky! It is oh my weird. God, Becky thinks it's cool. I mean, okay. I agree with Becky. It's cool, but it's 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 like creepily cool. Yeah, it's like the you know. The, the Polar Express movie was a little uh, weirdly animated. It was cool that it was a 3D animated movie, but it's still creepy. Um, like, I like the concept. I like the idea. I just am freaked out by it, I guess. I don't know why. 
Uh, mm. Thank you so much, Ranger Rick, for sending that over. That is a, a perfect letter for us here uh, at Gizwiz. Also, another big thank you to our patron supporters over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys support the show every single episode. Big, big shout out to you. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Patreon.com This is, is our 1634th episode that we have done, just you and I and Justin and a few other people. Mm -hmm. Totally supported. Mm -hmm. By our awesome. patrons. Uh, thank you guys so much over at patreon.com. If you enjoy the show, please consider uh, giving a little bit back every episode. It does not have to be a lot, but we really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you want to do a one time donation, you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, uh, the place where the podcast lives, and click the Patreon banner. And there's a PayPal link if you just want to give once, not reoccurring every episode. Uh, speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you watch the show live every uh, Thursday about, if there's ever a schedule change, it says it at the top of the website, uh, at 4.30 Pacific Time, 7.30 Eastern Time. You can join the chat room, see the show live, and if you don't catch it live, don't worry. We record it for you. We put it on the website, put it on the RSS feeds for you to download, so please subscribe on iTunes or YouTube or uh, wherever you want to listen to so the did podcast. So did we do this on the wrong night then? You said we we're supposed to do this on Thursday? No. Huh? Normal. Oh, normally I th oh okay. No, I thought it was. Uh, oh, I, I thought you said we should be doing this on Thursday. No, no, thought, no. Not this oh episode. Oh, my goodness. Just like oh, in, the future, in the future. Oh, yeah, in the normally, future. Oh, normally. Normally we work on Thursday. Oh, okay. I was so, just afraid. Set your clocks, folks, to see us on Thursday. <laughs> set um, your wacky uh, alarms. Yeah, alarm. your wacky alarms, your wacky wake up alarms. Uh, and, um, uh, yes, so thank you so much, uh, for, for that. Also, head on over to gizwiz.biz to play What the Heck Is It? We're over halfway done with this current gadget. Uh, this is a Guess the Gadget game where we don't tell you the name, but you do get to see a photo of the gadget, and here it is in all of its glory. I think that this is a, um, you know, you got the, the nosy neighbor's Okay, this is a device you put on the wall and it helps you listen through the wall. The FBI developed it. Um, if you think you know what this is, get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz, 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, but 24 Double the Mad Magazines for clever, interesting, and hilarious answers. And this is the Mad Magazine that you are trying to win, signed by yes, Dickie yes, D yes. himself. Nice, it's a uh, very... Um, Impressionistic Picasso -y. painting, yeah, Picasso-y, uh, Trump, uh, very, very nice uh, painting of Trump there. Uh, so if you want that, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. I think that about wraps it up for this episode. We should be back to normal uh, for next week, and uh, we'll see you then on the next episode of Gizwiz. I'll be here. <laughs>